What is up, Vikings fans? It's Chris Corso here with another special guest on the Minnesota Vikings podcast. It's it's Mike Boone who has a new look going on for, uh, for the audio audience. Mike Boone has chopped his hair off. I like the new look. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. Guess you can say that that quarantine really drove me crazy, huh? <laughs> I hear you. So, 2020, you got a new look. Um, it's your third season for the Vikings. Can you just believe that it was a few years ago you came to this organization as an undrafted free agent and made the roster? Yeah, man, I, I reflect on it a lot, man. You know, going to going into year three, man, it's just, you know, it's a blessing. feels great to, you know, just look back and see, you know, the hard work was, was rewarded and I'm going into, you know, like you said, my third year. That's awesome. And, and just being back in the building, being back with all these guidelines with the yeah. coronavirus, what's it been like to be back with your teammates, see guys like Dallin Cook and Alexander Madison? That running backs room is awesome. Yeah, for sure, man. I'm happy to uh, be back, see the guys uh, finally get from behind that iPad screen, you know. And, you know, um, just, you know, seeing everybody, even though we got to keep our mask on everywhere, you know, it just still feels good to be back and finally touching, you know, touching the field and getting to work on the offense a little bit, putting those, those cleats in the grass a little bit. So as we touched on that running back room, it's you, Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, Amir Abdullah. <laughs> Oh, there's so much talent in that room. What's it been like doing these virtual meetings in the off season? Now you guys are all back together, but uh, just what's take us in that inside that running backs room? Uh, yeah, man, it's just it's it's been been pretty good, man. Learning experience for me, you know, first time. I'm pretty sure any of us had to do anything like this, but it just really gave us that opportunity to, um, you know, just hone in on those small details, you know, and as far as, you know, just meeting on the iPads, making everything virtual. But uh, like you said, just great to be back with the guys and, and you know, back working. So you've, you've had a front row seat watching what Dalvin Cook has done on the field. Obviously, the season he had last year was spectacular. Tell the Vikings fans, just from, from your point of view, what you see about his game. What stands out the most when you watch Dalvin Cook run the football? Man, he, you you can't tackle the guy, man. You know, it's every it's hard to get him on the ground. You know, his feet's always churning, and he's just a special back. You know, it's speed, uh, vision, just a complete back. You know, in my eyes, uh, he actually helped me a lot. You know, coming in here, he taught me a lot of smart, smart guy, smart athlete, and I just try to you know learn what I can from him, help each other out, and you know. It's, what's the what's the biggest thing you learned from Dalvin in your time together? Ah. Uh, Actually, man, you know, when I first got here, he told me, he was like, boom, just just be yourself, you know, just be yourself and and focus on the small details, you know, like I said. And that's that really, you know, that stuck with me and it, it's taken me far, you know, because those those small details is really what will help us be consistent, you know, and that's kind of, you know, that's kind of what stuck with me. Absolutely. Looking at your career rise, it really started in the preseason. Two years ago, you had 196 <laughs> yards in the preseason. Last year, you had right, right around 200 as well. What is it about these opportunities, right? Whenever you get them, it seems like you, a good thing happens every single time you touch the ball. All right, man. Just, you know, that, that just goes to show, um, like I said, those details and, you know, film work and the offensive line, you know, can't forget about those guys. Can't just put it all on me, you know. Um, but every chance my number's call, I just try to be there, you know, try to execute and help out however I can. Speaking of the offensive line, one of my favorite things that you guys do is after you score a touchdown, <laughs> hand them the ball, <laughs> and we watch Pat Elfline really spike the ball into the ground. Yeah, man. Who decided to start doing that? Um, I, don't, I think it, it actually might have been Dalvin. You know, he, he came, he scored a touchdown, and Pat was right there. You know, he just gave the big guy some love, you know, let Pat throw that thing to the ground, man. And, I actually, uh, I, I think I threw it the big old once a couple of the guys, man. But Pat, Pat really, he really can throw that thing. <laughs> he really can spike. It. <laughs> I was about to ask you, who's your favorite to to hand the ball off to? You, you you had three touchdowns last year. Who was your favorite offensive lineman to say, "Here you go, throw this thing at the ground"? <laughs> uh, man, I hate to say favorite, but you know, Pat, Pat's always he he's normally the first guy there, you know. So I just always I toss it to Pat. Um, yeah, that, I gotta go with Pat, you know. Looking at your season last year, you had to step in week 15 against the Los Angeles Chargers in a game where Dalvin Cook gets injured. 
and you step in and have a pair of touchdowns. Some of the runs were just awesome to see. Uh, just describe your feeling in that game and, and how you were so ready for the challenge and, and how you really helped the Vikings running game continue to get over 200 yards, which they did almost every game last season. Uh, you know, that's just that's just um, being prepared, you know. I give a lot, of, uh, a lot of props to KP. He prepared every one of us, you know, to be ready for a situation like that, you know. So uh, I prepared all week, you know, that, that's kind of our routine. Prepare like, you know, you're that guy, you're that starter. And, you know, it's football and the game we play, injuries happen. And, you know, Cook kind of went down. They called my number and it was, you know, I just told myself like, hey, you've been prepping this all week. Yeah, they call your number, just come out and execute, you know. Speaking of KP, that's running backs coach Kennedy Palomalu, uh, sort of a father figure of a coach. W what have you learned from him in your time with the Vikings? And, and just describe his leadership of the Vikings running backs. Oh, man, I learned a lot from KP, man, as far as, um, you know, just, just techniques, uh, blocking techniques, uh, life experiences, man. He got a little joke. You know, don't bite that apple. You know, no matter how much success you get or, you know, how much exposure you get, don't bite that apple. Don't, don't feed into it, you know. He definitely has his sayings, that's for sure. I know that. <laughs> right. um, looking at the offensive coordinator this year, it's Gary Kubiak, who is obviously with the Vikings in a mentor role last year. Um, he is the creator of this outside zone scheme that the Vikings run when running the ball. It seems to fit your style of running a decent a little bit so how do you describe what you think the offense is going to look like under offensive coordinator Gary Kubiak uh, you know like you said uh, you know he, he was the guy to you know say invent that outside zone you know I we'll put the put the ball on the ground you know try to try to open everything up and just you know uh, let the let the run game complement the pass game Going further through your season last year, you were able to get a big opportunity to play against the Chicago Bears in week 17. I think you had a run like right out the gate on the first play where you yeah. just broke loose. Uh, describe your performance in that game. It was it was impressive to see you score another touchdown as well. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That, that that first run felt felt good, you know. After that, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go. And then the next play, I kind of uh, – I got a toss in. Uh, I had a bad exchange. My eyes were bad on the toss, and I fumbled, you know. But I just took that mentality to, you know, next play mentality, you know, and just tried to come out and uh, compliment the offensive line because those guys, you know, they had a good game. They opened it up for me, and, you know, you see the results. That's awesome. I read somewhere that you were a wide receiver in high school. Yeah, yeah man. You broke a ton of records. <laughs> in Florida as a wide receiver in high school. How did you make the transition from a wide receiver to at the University of Cincinnati, you become a star running back? Um, you know, um, I was getting recruited to Cincy uh, at the time, Coach Eddie Grant. He was the, uh, that was my, my, my coach at the time. And I guess he saw it in me, you know, he saw the little running back potential in me. So he made the change and, you know, I was with it. I was for it. I was positive about it. And, you know, I just took his coaching and, I guess he was right. You know, it turned out good for me, man. How do you think that experience at, at the wide receiver position has helped you be a successful running back? Obviously, we've seen that you can catch the ball and do good things with it out of the backfield. Right, exactly that. You know, it just helps make me, you know, that much more versatile, make me confident going out, running, you know, whatever route, you know, catching the ball out the backfield and just kind of put me at a little advantage versus, you know, linebackers because – being, you know, norm, being used to going, going against DBs, you know, you kind of get in the backfield and now you're going against, you know, linebackers and safeties. It kind of just prepped me for the position I'm in now. What is your best trait as a running back? I want you to, to, just, to just talk about, tell Vikings fans, what is the best thing you bring to the table? Oh, man. I'm putting you on the spot here, uh, man. Yeah, man. But I have to say – um. I like to consider myself a, you know, a good one cut back, you know, as a, as a running back, it's, it's good to have that, you know, in, in your backpack that being able to make a cut and just get it north, you know, and I kind of, I kind of feed off that I kind of uh, do, do a lot of training, you know, on that in the off season. And I try to consider myself a great one cut back, man. Getting behind those pads. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely had saw that last year. You averaged 5.6 yards per carry on 49 carries for the Vikings. Do you think you could keep those numbers up 
if you're given 100, 150 carries in an, in an NFL season? Hey, man, however it goes, you know, I, I definitely think I can, you know, because just being consistent, you know, with the, with the small details, exactly, that'll, that'll put me in position to continue doing those type of, you know, having those type of games or making those type of runs. So, you know, whenever my number's called, I just make it a, a, a job to be there. Wrapping things up here, Kirk Cousins has given you a lot of love um, I mean, throughout the season. He, I, I mean, in press conferences, he always shows love and, and talks about your performances in the preseason and, and kind of what you bring to the Vikings offense. So uh, kind of describe your, your, your relationship with the Vikings quarterback. Uh, you know, Kirk, Kirk's a, uh, you know, great guy, man. Anytime you see me around the facility, you know, he kind of chop it up with me and he just, you know, put me on a lot of game, you know, football wise, making sure I'm, you know, my head's right with, with formations or, you know, just pass pro. And he just kind of took that role, you know, that, 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 that big bro role almost, you know, I hate to say that, but you know, he just kind of makes sure I'm always, you know, on the right track. And what is he like inside the huddle? I mean, I've been told, that there's like a different like alter ego that comes out when Kirk Cousins right. is rallying the troops a little bit. Is, is right. he a little different in, inside the huddle? Uh, yeah, you know, he kind of he, he bring. And that's with anybody, you know. That just a different when it's time to play ball. It's time to play ball, you know. And you just see that in, in Kirk when it's time to play. And you know, I guess that he's saying, you know, you like that. You know, you just see you, you see that when it's time to play. So. That's awesome. Well, I, I really wish you the best of luck this season. I know when the opportunity comes, you're going to make the most out of it because you've shown that pretty much your entire career um, so far. So good luck on your third NFL uh, season here and hope, hope to see you around the facility pretty soon, man. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for having me.